welcome everyone. My name is Shireen, and I am one of the owners here along with my husband, Sean. I'm also a coach here. He will also be a coach within the challenge. Also joining us tonight is Coach Mariah. You'll be seeing a lot of her. We got Coach Allen behind the video there, Coach Ryan behind the mask, and Coach TJ somewhere. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, there you go. All right. We also have, is she here? I don't know if she is. Is Tori here? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Um, we also have Tori Zager, part of our team. She's our member communication specialist, so you'll be seeing her around as well. So, together tonight, guys, we're going to educate you on everything you need to know to be successful on the challenge that kicks off on Monday. All right? So, bear with me here. So, we've broken the orientation into six sections. At the end of each section, we're going to pause and answer any questions that you might have, so don't hold back tonight, okay? Um, we're going to ask that you keep your questions specific to the topic we're covering in each section. If you have a challenge-specific question about something that we don't cover during orientation, please ask it at the end of today's presentation. Can you guys hear me? Can you turn me down? Okay. Okay. <laughs> let's go back there. Okay. Um, also, let's see here. We also want to be respectful of everyone's time and ensure you leave orientation 100% confident to rock the challenge when it begins on Monday, May 3rd, okay? So this should be about 30 minutes, hopefully shorter. So here's what we're gonna cover today, a little review of the agenda. So section one, we're talking about fat loss 101, the fit body nutrition philosophy that we're all gonna learn about, or maybe we even read about, hopefully who has read through their email. That's your first homework study. If you guys can get through that email, you guys are already winners of this challenge. <laughs> so you downloaded all the apps, you've gone through the Challenger website, you're kind of grasping what's going to be going on for the next six weeks, but be sure to ask any questions that you might have, okay? So section one, we're going to talk about fat loss. Section two, we'll introduce to you um, something we call nutritional periodization, which is a fancy way of describing how we're going to help you optimize your body's ability to lose fat over a long period of time. Um, let's see here. Section three. My little thing isn't working here. We're going to introduce you to the only two things you need to know to be successful on the challenge, and that is how to make a meal plan and how to track your food, okay? In section five, we'll dive into what you can expect from your coach throughout the challenge. And next, we're gonna summarize exactly what you need to focus on heading into the challenge. And then finally, we'll talk briefly about how to ensure your success on the challenge long after it ends. Um, just a reminder that we will break for any questions, so don't hold back. So let's get started. So first of all, let's see here in my next slide, is traditional diets don't work. We've tried them, we've been there, the diet industry is broken. So let's see here, 95% of dieters regain the weight they lose and more within three years. And just even to put that into more perspective, guys, we, all of us, have been going through such a hard time this last year, 2020, what was 2020? I have no idea what happened there, it was a blur, but the pandemic, okay? That's, it's, it's hit us big time. Um, along with the pandemic, we have an obesity epidemic happening, okay? So that's what we're going against here. We're taking control of our lives and we're gonna win it, okay? So, going back. All right, so the diet industry is broken. 95% diets fail. Who signed up for that? I know that we did not, right? So, that's the bad news. The good news is there is a better way. And I'm gonna introduce to you the Fit Body Nutrition System and Coaching Program. So, with the Fit Body Nutrition System, we set you up for long-term success. So we're gonna jump right into section one. And I talk fast. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so in this section, we'll explore the not-so-secret secret to long-term fat loss. We're going to show some pictures here before and afters. So this is Dina, a Fit Body client, not one of ours, but there are other Fit Body locations all throughout the country. So once you become a member with us and you go traveling somewhere, you can visit a Fit Body in that town for free and get your still continue to get your workouts in. That's just a little little plug there. So this is Dina, a Fit Body client who completed one of our six week challenges. And go ahead and guess how many pounds you think Dina in six weeks lost in this picture? Anybody? 35. 25. Okay. 42 and a half. 
42 and a half, whoa. So Dina actually lost six pounds in six weeks. So in fact, every week during the challenge, she was upset that the scale wasn't moving fast enough. But as you can see here, Dina completely transformed her body by losing six pounds of fat. So if you guys read or went through the Challenger website, you can know that this is not just a weight loss journey, okay? We're on a fat loss mission here. So that's what makes Fit, makes Fit Body unlike most gyms. We're a fat loss solution, not a weight loss program. Our 30 minute fat burning workouts combined with our Fit Body nutrition system are designed to help you shed fat while be building lean muscle, just like Dina here, okay? Moving on here. So by a show of hands, how many of you are here tonight because you want to lose weight or improve your health? Everybody, I love it. So glad you guys are here. Great, you're in the right place. So in fact, we've helped probably hundreds of people now since we opened six months ago. Okay, we've only been here for six months. Um, so, and just like you guys coming in, nervous, not, not sure what to expect, which is totally normal, okay? Let's see, more transformations here, you can see. Pretty spectacular, and these are six week transformations. So, let's see, we're gonna move on to the fat loss triangle. So too often we are making losing weight and keeping up way harder than it needs to be with unsustainable rules that set us up for failure from the start. The truth is long lasting fat loss is actually quite simple. So this is our triangle here. I'm gonna to try to keep it as simple as possible. And you're gonna see the bottom of the triangle is sustainability. So first the plan needs to be sustainable. Who has ever tried, not gonna bash it because it is a great thing for certain instances, but whoever's tried keto? Alan, Sean, right? Not sustainable, not a sustainable approach because we are taking out a whole food group, carbohydrates, <laughs> which we need for energy, okay? And they actually make us feel good, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna talk about more of a sustainable approach here. So if you're hungry and miserable all the time, or uh, the plan doesn't fit your lifestyle, you won't be able to stick to it for a very long time, which is why so many people regain the weight after they lose it. So next for any fat loss program to work, you must be in a calorie deficit, which means you need to eat fewer calories than you burn, okay? That's science, I'm not making it up. <laughs> and then finally, to lose fat and keep it up, you need to eat enough protein. We hear about protein all the time, there's protein water, there's protein kid bars, there's, there's protein everything these days, but there's a reason for it. Protein is what helps you feel full, helps you preserve lean muscle, drives your metabolism, and helps you maintain the weight loss after you increase your calories again, okay? Remember I said calorie deficit? We don't wanna be in a calorie deficit all the time. However, maybe for a six week challenge, we will be in a calorie deficit. And that's where long after these results, we'll work with you to get out of that deficit and, and work to keep that weight off in a more sustainable way by increasing your calories. We wanna eat as much food as we can. <laughs> That's the goal. So it's really that simple, and as I said, long-lasting fat loss is quite simple. So that's the end of section one. Um, do you guys have any questions up to here? Nothing? Nobody? Do you have any questions? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So section two we're going to move on to is the nutritional periodization for long-lasting fat loss. Um, so we're gonna, this is covering the difference between weight loss and fat loss. We're going to talk about how important it is for you to change how you think about your fat loss journey. All right, so I'm gonna be talking here a lot. So one of the biggest reasons people regain weight after bowing that this is the last time they're going to lose it is that they don't put in the hard work required to change their mindset. You guys, it's a huge part of the journey, your mindset. And we talk about it every single day here at Fit Body, don't we, Jen? Yes. <laughs> Instead of viewing the challenge as a springboard to better health, they view it as a punishment and count down the days until it's over. Does this sound familiar to anyone? You're on a diet, oh, just three more weeks and then I can eat that pie. <laughs> Anything like that. So at Fit Body, our goal is to help you change your mindset from being on a diet to improving your lifestyle, okay? To help you ditch the all or nothing mindset and instead stick to healthy habits that make you feel great physically and emotionally. 
to stop playing the finite game and instead adopt the rules of the inf infinite game. Am I saying that right? <laughs> I say it all the time. Okay, infinite game. So when you do, you'll never die it again. And we'll talk about this more during the six weeks though, but this is the finite game and this is the infinite game. And we wanna be playing that, that finite game, guys. There's no end result to what we're trying to do here. That growth mindset. All right, so. What makes Fit Body Camp, sorry, Fit Body Boot Camp different than all the other programs is that we take a year-round approach to your nutrition utilizing something called nutritional periodization, which I mentioned. It's a strategic way to change how many calories you eat at different times throughout the year to optimize your body's ability to lose fat over a long period of time, okay? So, our nutritional periodization approach includes three phases that help you lose weight year-round. So, fat loss phase, are designed to help you lose fat at an accelerated rate for a defined period of time. The six week challenge is a fat loss phase, okay? This is your fat loss phase that you'll be entering on Monday. For fat loss phases are designed to help you lose fat at an accelerated rate, I'm sorry, I already said that. After you complete the challenge, you'll move to the transition and maintenance phases. Let's go to that slide. To um, build your metabolism so that you can lose weight again in the future. Okay, we want to build that metabolism back up so that our bodies are revved up and ready to go. And then after you complete the challenge, you move to the transition. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my. Oh yeah, sorry. A maintenance so you can build your metabolism and you can lose weight again in the future. My bad. All right, here we go. We'll dive into nutritional periodization more when we introduce your post-challenge nutrition plan, but we're introducing it here because we want you to know that we have a plan for you that will keep you from becoming a statistic. Again, 95% of dieters regain the weight they lose and more within three years. So, six weeks, we're in that fat loss phase, and then what happens after that? Do we just stop? Do we just, no. We're gonna keep going and keep that weight loss off, okay? So. That is the end of section two. Do you guys have any questions on anything we've covered so far? No? Okay. Let's keep moving on. We're about speed here. So the rest of the presentation is going to focus on setting up for success to optimize your fat loss phase. In section three and four, we're going to cover the only two things you need to know to be successful on the challenge. And that is going to be make a meal plan and track your food, okay? So the first one, make a meal plan. So we're gonna learn about that first. Let's think about this here. So in your welcome email, you receive instructions for how to download and set up the Fit Body Coaching app. Who has set up their Fit Body Coaching app so far? Who has no idea what I'm talking about when I say welcome email? Okay, good. Because it might have been <laughs> So your coach uses information you enter into the app, so your gender, your age, your current weight, your measurements, and your activity level to create a daily calorie budget that safely puts you in a calorie deficit while feeding you as many calories as possible. Remember, our goal is not to starve you by over-restricting your calories because that's not smart or sustainable. So if you haven't seen your calorie goal yet, open up your app sometime before Monday and make sure you see that in there. <laughs> So after you receive your daily calorie budget from your coach, you're going to divide that budget into meals. So this is going to be an example here. So let's say your daily calorie budget is 1,600 and you decide to evenly divide your calorie budget into four meals per day. As you can see here, you will enjoy four 400 calorie meals throughout the day. So you don't have to divide the calories evenly across your meals and you're welcome to eat four, five, six, two, maybe you only eat two times a day per day. Do what works for you. Remember, sustainability is the goal. There's no magic meals of the day. The six meals a day is out the window, okay? If you ever think that again. <laughs> All right, so. So likewise, how you spend your daily calorie budget is up to you, but you'll find it easier to stay in a calorie deficit, which leads to fat loss if you're satisfied and not hungry all the time, okay? So we're gonna talk about good and poor investment foods. This was in your nutritional guide as well. I'm just reviewing it. So at Fit Body, we think about food the same we think about money. Food is not good or bad, but there are good and bad investment foods, okay? 
For example, foods that fill you up, fuel your workouts, and make you feel good are good investment foods. Foods that are void of vitamins and minerals, leave you hungry and make you feel sluggish, are poor investment foods. Makes sense, right? Okay. To help guide you to eat more good investment foods, we categorize all protein, carbohydrates, and fats into three categories. Eat more, eat some, and eat less. So this is in your guide as well. It's a very big, long list of foods. It can be a little overwhelming, but I'm just trying to here to explain it makes sense. So as you can see here, we use a simple green, yellow, and red color coding system to help you budget your daily calories. Again, no foods are off limits. You can eat whatever you want, but when you fill up on your more eat more foods, it will be much easier to maintain a calorie deficit because you won't feel hungry. And when you're not hungry, it becomes much easier to walk past those donuts in the break room, right? <laughs> but of course, I'm gonna get into this. If you want the donut, you have the donut, you gotta check it. We'll get there later. <laughs> so, Nutrition is not one size fits all. That's why we've created multiple ways for you to plan your meals. First, let's look at how to use the Meal Builder Guide and food list to build your meals. All right, so remember this slide, the Meal Builder Guide. I'm gonna use it to show you to plan your meals, again, using the Meal Builder Guide. So to recap, we got 1,600 calories a day. We're breaking them up into 400 calorie meals. And this is the Meal Builder Guide that's all that everyone received. So you'll notice the food list in the back of the guide is organized by calories. To build our first meal, we'll turn to the 400 calorie pages in the meal builder guide since I've decided to eat 400 calories. So this is my example. I get 400 calories, I'm gonna build a 400 calorie meal builder guide and take a look. So for my first 400 calorie meal, I'm going to have a protein shake. You'll notice that there are different serving sizes for males and females in the meal builder guide. I'm gonna use the female serving sizes to build my shake. First, I'll find protein powder and measure out 1.7 scoops, since that's the serving size listed for females. Of course, you're gonna eyeball 1.7. We all can know what 0.7 looks like. And then notice here that the true lean protein powder is an eat more food, which we sell here as well. Oh, and not another one. Right there. Right there, okay. Um, let's move on here. So next, I'm gonna choose a carb for my protein shake. So I had my protein, now I'm choosing a carb. I'll turn to the car pages and within the 400 calorie section of the meal brittle guide, a banana sounds good, so I'll measure 4.8 ounces of banana and I'll add it to my shake. So remember the serving sizes for males and females are different, so make sure you're not over or under eating. Right there's my banana, I'm gonna add it in. So now it's time to choose a fat for my protein shake. I'm gonna measure out 1.2 tablespoons of nut butter and the amount is listed there for females. So I got my protein, I got my carb, I got my fat. It's already telling me how much I need to make it a 400 calorie meal, right there. So right there, everything's measured out. The calories, it equals 400 calories. How, sounds pretty simple, right? Does it make sense? Who doesn't have a food scale at home? <laughs> okay, so um, somebody shared a, uh, a link on the Facebook group Super inexpensive Amazon, right? Yeah, but even you can go to Kohl's, you can go to Meyer, you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart right after this. Amen. Go through the roundabout, five minutes, keep your food scale. Grab one. TJ Maxx has a lot of weird scales. Yes, yeah, a lot of weird things there. Sometimes they're, they're fun though. <laughs> All right. I found body wash for six dollars there. It was pretty amazing. It's a large thing. <laughs> All about the safety. All right, so after, so this part is kind of, I'm gonna say it's kind of optional because we are gonna be using an app to track, or if the app isn't your thing, you can also write things down, guys. So after you've chosen your protein, your carb, and your fat, you're gonna write it down the meal planning and tracking sheet found on the resource site. If you choose to eat more food, write it in the green section. This is really just to simplify things for you guys. Write all, eat some foods in the yellow area, and eat less foods in the red space on your meal planning and tracking sheet. If you're really wanting to learn how to eat better, say you don't even eat vegetables, you've never had protein, this is a great way to really figure out how to get more of those eat more foods in your diet. So again, remember no foods are off limits, but eating more, eat more foods will keep you satisfied and feeling great, making it easier to maintain a calorie deficit. If you find yourself feeling hungry, try swapping out eat less foods with eat more food choices from the food list. It's gonna be trial and error. 
probably maybe for the first week or two weeks, guys. You're gonna learn a lot about yourself. You're gonna screw up. You're gonna have doubts, but don't give up on yourself here, okay? Here we go. This is gonna show us a little, is it showing us a little video? Okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna work. It didn't work earlier. Awesome, okay, so before we move on, I wanna share something about the food list. As you can see here, all the fats for females on the 400 calorie pages are 112 calories. That means I can use any fat that's 112 calories in my protein shake if I was having a 400 calorie meal. All I have to do is look, you know, I don't really want almond um, butter today. I'm gonna put some, <laughs> I'm gonna put some guacamole in there. Just four <laughs> tablespoons of guacamole in my shake today. You get the deal, all right. <laughs> right there. Everything's the same. No, that's not on there. However, we do have a low carb mark. <laughs> all right, so always weigh and measure your food, guys. It's going to be like, are you kidding me? I have to weigh and measure my foods. But to determine portion sizes, you should weigh and measure your food whenever possible. This is the most accurate way to ensure you're sticking to the calorie budget your coach gave you. If you try eyeballing things the first couple of weeks and then you're not seeing results and you're like, yeah, I think I had four ounces of that. And like, then we're like, are you sure? Did you weigh it out? And you're like, no, and just, just do it. You're gonna learn a lot about yourself. You don't have to do it forever. Again, this is a six week challenge. Maybe the challenge is gonna be weighing and measuring your food. That could be your challenge this, this um, six weeks. So um, take it on, it's part of the process. And soon you'll know exactly what a portion size looks like for yourself and you'll ditch the scale, okay? Maybe. So, also in this challenge, we're providing something new. It's done for you meal plans, okay? Um, if building your meals using the meal guide, builder guide feels overwhelming at first, you can try one of our meal plan options. Our done for you meal plans are perfect if you've ever thought, I wish someone would just tell me what and how much to eat so I didn't have to think about it. Um, we partner with Evolution Nutrition to create done for you meal plans complete with what and how much to eat to fit your daily calorie budget. We have tons of them, all the 1200, 1300, whatever you're on. Um, they are created by licensed dietitians and include seven days of meals, recipes, and a shopping list so you know exactly what to eat. You'll find basic, high protein, paleo, plant based meals on the resource website as well. I will tell you something though about meal plans. We are humans and we don't like to be told what to do. You might think that you want a meal plan, like yes, that's, that's so easy. Then you look at your meal plan and you're like, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I don't want, so the tracking and keeping within your budget and eating what you want to eat is a little bit more sustainable. But if sometimes people need a meal plan to start out and try to figure that out. So don't, I'm not, not for that. Um, so next, next we'll talk about um, the challenge plan Challenge meal plan thought starters. This is one of my favorite things for this challenge. Um, we've created six weeks worth of meal plans to help take the guesswork out of what's for dinner. That's always, we're busy parents. We got two of them. Um, we get it. Three. Oh, Three. I forgot to mention her, hold on. We've even created two ways for you to portion your meals with your hands or by using the meal builder guide, okay? So check out the resource site for the meal plan thought starters hand measuring guide, and the digital version of the meal builder guide. If you have any problem finding those, um, ask us. I have loaded a couple meal plans of people's coaching app. The one, if you said in your initial eval that you wanted a meal plan, I did upload it to your app. And it's the meal plan thought starters. So, all right. All right, one of the biggest questions, what if I want to eat something that isn't on the food list? This is one of our most common questions. Just remember, no food are off limits. You can eat whatever you want as long as you stick to your daily calorie budget. That's what I meant by the donut in the break room. There's gonna be times you might just need to feed yourself that as long as it fits your daily calorie budget, okay? But we wanna eat, the, eat more foods more often. All right, here's a little quote. The only option that's off the table is giving up on meal planning or yourself, okay? There's no right or wrong way to meal plan. Try each of the options we reviewed and decide what's right for you. Remember, we don't give up on ourselves. Any questions on section three? No. Go ahead, Courtney. Does, meal, uh, does the apps interact with any other food tracking apps? Yes. Yeah. My Fitness Pal and Fitbit. Okay. 
So in this section, we'll cover the other skill you need to be successful in the challenge, tracking your food. And that's how to track your food. That's what we're gonna cover here. So the number one thing successful dieters do is self-monitor their nutrition and weight. So before you grumble at the idea of tracking your food and weight, consider this. Tracking your food will significantly increase your results. We'll talk about why in just a minute. You don't have to do it forever. Try it for six weeks and see how you feel. If you're like most people, you'll likely stick to it. And lastly, tracking your food is not meant to be a punishment. If you try it and it's not working for you, ask your coach for other ways to help you stick to your calorie deficit. Okay, don't just throw your hands up, I can't do this. Okay, I'm gonna say this too, and I'm gonna get it in your head. If you have five, 10, 30 minutes to scroll through Facebook or social media, you have time to input your food that takes about 60 seconds, okay? So keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, so when you track your food, you will lose weight because you become more mindful about what, when, and why you're eating, and you'll be less apt to overdraft your daily calorie budget. So if you know you have to track the handful of m and to eat from your coworker's candy dish, you might think twice about grabbing them. Tracking your food also gives your coach insight into how to help you reach your goals. Okay, at first tracking is gonna be, it's gonna be hard. Um, on the calendar in the app, that's how we view your tracking. And sometimes we see days where you, you didn't track or it's 200 calories or it's 1,600 um, and then it's here and it's, there's, it's like this and you come to us and say you're, you think you plateaued or you think you, have, you're, you're, you can't lose weight. It's the inconsistency of tracking your food that's happening, okay? So this is just gonna help your coach help you. So your nutrition combined with sticking to your habits, working out, and then our other big habits, drinking half your body weight in ounces of water every day, and getting good quality sleep, all affect your results. We stress those habits here, guys. You can track your food in the Fitbit or MyFitnessPal app. You do not need to have a Fitbit device to use the Fitbit app, just to let you know. All right, moving on. So more about the app. Both apps are free and available. Who has, has anyone down, not downloaded a food tracking app yet? Couple, okay. So make sure you take some time and look into which one you want to try. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's, it's quite easy, guys. And there's videos in the Challenger website as well. All right, so. If you do my fitness pal, do not pay for it. The free, the free oh, yeah. app is, They're free. is perfectly adequate and it has anything you're gonna need in there. So one last thing about tracking your food, guys. It is a skill that will take a little bit of time to learn that's essential to long-term weight loss. So spend the necessary time to learn this essential skill. We recommend printing the meal planning and tracking document from the resource site and plan a day's worth of meals. Once you know what you're going to eat for the day, enter each item into the Fitbit or the MyFitnessPal app. We promise before long, you'll be a food tracking pro. Okay? Do I have you guys all raise your hand if your commitment that you'll track your food throughout the challenge. So everyone raise your hand if you have my, if you give me your commitment. Awesome, I see everyone's hands up, that's great. All right, so one final word, I said final word last time, one final word on tracking. So sometimes we're tracking, we'll see big discrepancies on what you actually have and what's in your app. Um, this is just due to the vast number of different brands and types of foods in the databases. So um, this is gonna show an example of oat milk. So on the right, you can see that one cup of the Pacific Natural Foods oat milk is 20 calories in the MyFitnessPal, and then the food you select may not be in the same choice. So if you track, um, if, you, if your food has a large discrepancy, like the one shown here, we can recommend um, just toggling a different choice of that food that aligns closer to the values food found in the food list. So I'm talking about on the food list and in your app, choose the one that's closer to the food list one. Okay. That wraps up section four. Any questions? All right, we're cruising. Let's move on to section five. So we have, we're gonna talk about your coach. Coach equals support and accountability. The best athletes in the world need a coach, and so do you. Your coach is here to support you. So one of the many things that makes FitBody unlike any gym or fitness program you've tried before is the accountability and support your coaches for your weight that you are that day. That helps with analyzing everything. And don't put the inches you lost 
put the inches that you are, okay? All right. And then this is gonna talk about tracking your progress each week. So in your weekly progress report, you'll enter your weight and total inches so your coach can track your progress. Be sure to record your weight and measurements each week on the tracking sheet found on the resource site. You will need the information to complete your weekly progress report. Who's taking notes? You will not have access to the previous week's data in your weekly progress report, so it's important that you track your information each week, okay? You got a little homework. It's a six week challenge. <clears throat> So if you decide to enter your body stats in the Fit Body Coaching app, you will notice the app asks for different measurements than the measurements you'll report to your coach each week, right? They're different. You're welcome to enter the additional measurements the app asks for as long as you consistently report the measurements your coach asks for each week. On your progress report each week, you'll report the sum of these inches added together. We have chest, waist, belly button, hips, arm, bicep, leg, and thighs. Remember to write these measurements down on the tracking sheet we just reviewed. You will not have access to the previous week's data in your weekly progress report, so it's important that you track your information each week. Okay. And then one more thing, guys. Progress reports are not optional, like I said. Um, one last thing. Yeah. So recording them in the app is... I'm sorry, what was I? Your measurement recording in the app is 100% optional, but reporting them each week to your coach is not. Okay? Be sure to complete your progress report. Your coach is here to hold you accountable to reach your goals. I think every single, almost every single initial eval I, I read was hold me accountable. I want accountability, I want accountability. This is how we're gonna do it, okay? So, you guys will take your progress pictures as well. So you're gonna take one a before, at the start of the six weeks, and then one at the end. You do not have to post this. You do not have to show anybody your progress pictures. You don't even have to show us if you don't want to, okay? Um, but please take a picture because it's, it's the best way to show your results over six weeks. It's amazing, okay? Um, again, don't, don't worry, we'll never use your photos without permission. And I just wanna say one more thing. So this challenge, you will be doing your own measurements, okay? Last challenge, we did them for our, our, our members or our, our participants, but this one, you guys are gonna be um, responsible for that. Um, it just helps with consistency, and we got a lot of challenges this time around. So, <laughs> so when you go get that food scale, and you don't have a, a tape measure, go get a tape measure, it's very inexpensive. And if anyone needs one, yeah. you, you can grab one of ours, yes. just bring it back. The guide shows you exactly how to prop your phone, how to take the pictures, it's, it's good. So uh, we've covered a lot today, so let's recap what you need to do real quick. So let's download and set up the Fit Body Coaching app, complete your initial eval, download food tracking apps, take your before pictures, engage with your coach, commit to yourself that you can do this. And now, administrative stuff. As I say, we don't have one person here um, our HR Capri, yeah. which you guys will all <laughs> meet soon. That's our job. So, she, she's our HR. She expects everyone coming through the door. So, uh, beyond that, though, guys, we have a couple things we need to go over some rules of boot camp. So, we don't take ourselves very seriously, but we do take our training very seriously, and these are the things we take pretty seriously. So, clean, dry shoes. Thank God there's no white stuff on the ground out there. However, we still ask that you bring a clean, dry pair of shoes. Um, sessions, you're welcome to attend as many boot camp sessions as you'd like at whatever time works best for you, but you must reserve your sessions in advance. Before you leave tonight, we'll show you how to reserve your session for the week if you have any questions on that. Who has downloaded the FBDC check-in app? That is what you're gonna use to to reserve your spot in your sessions. Who has it? That's a better question. Yeah. I might okay. not have. Yeah, I don't know. Are you just doing it from your computer? Yeah. Oh, well, we I plan my week and I go through and I... Okay. <laughs> That's my camera. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about masks. So masks are required when entering the building and walking about the facility. Um, however... <laughs> <laughs> however... During our workouts, guys, we're doing high-intensity interval training most of the time, and we're gonna follow the CDC guidelines that you don't, you, it's optional during your workout. You can pull them down um, if you need to. We're not gonna say anything about it. Um, 
Your guys, safety is our number one concern. You can leave them with your stuff. Um, it, it's, it's totally, again, like she said, it's optional. You're going to see some people with yep. them, most not. Yep. So. Um, people wear them, and that's their choice, and people don't, and that's that's what we do. So um, there is one, clean your equipment. You don't got to worry about cleaning your equipment. We got it for you guys. So <laughs> number one thing here go, though, guys, this is going to be important, especially starting out. Pay attention. And this is for your own safety and the safety and courtesy of others. So please pay attention during the warm-up and throughout the workout to ensure you know how to do the exercise safely and ensure you get the most out of each exercise. So important to us coaches. And then also <clears throat> be on time. So one of the great things about Fit Body is our 30 minute fat burning workouts. We start on time and we end on time. Sometimes you go a little over time. Every single session, so please arrive a few minutes before your scheduled start time to ensure you're ready to go when the session begins. Stick with me, a couple more here. Be positive. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but it's worth mentioning because it's one of the many great things about Fit Body. We lift each other up and we cheer each other on. Drink water. This is more of a guideline than a rule. If you plan to bring a water bottle with you to boot camp, please make sure it includes a screw top, a seal cap, and not just a straw, okay? Um, you heard me say one of our goals or one of our habits that we're gonna talk about, and if you look into your app, for the next six weeks, you're gonna see things to do, and it's drink half your weight in ounces of water, okay? If you're not doing that already, don't think you're gonna start chugging a bunch of water the first day. Build yourself up to that amount, okay? If you're thinking, what is that? Let's aim for 80, 80 ounces, okay? Yep. That's gonna be, to keep that in mind, okay? <clears throat> and then kids, um, we don't have them here. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We, we don't train. We don't train minors. Yeah. Um, um, it's it's a liability thing for us, and so um, it, it's only thirty minutes. We should be able to make it work. Mm -hmm. So, um, and of course, ask for help. And. Um, Please ask anyone on our team if you need anything. We're all here to ensure you have an amazing experience, but if you don't know what you need, we can't help you, so please ask. All right, so your first workout, we're gonna schedule that first one, um, free to go to whatever session works for you, unlimited, using the Fit Body Check-In app. So before you leave tonight, if you have any questions on that, please ask. Yeah, we'll get you set up. All right, we're in the home stretch, guys. I have just a few more things to cover, and then we'll get you on your way. What time is it? Oh my gosh. So, reading this slide right here, giving up is not an option. Anytime you start something new, there's a learning curve that takes time. If tracking your food isn't working for you after the first couple of weeks, or you're struggling to stick to your daily calorie budget, reach out to your coach. He or she can help you find a solution that works for you, but only if they know you're struggling. We don't, we can't, we don't know if you're struggling if you don't tell us. The only option that's not available is giving up on yourself. So, in fact, you're only one challenge away from making a dramatic change in your life. When you take control of your health, you take control of everything. So we've helped hundreds of people lose weight so far and many of them started with a challenge. Like I said, we've only been open since November. This is our third challenge. We don't got everything right yet. We're still learning, so just be patient with us as well. But every single one of you guys is capable of succeeding. And I want you leaving here tonight knowing that if you commit to the process, the results will follow. Six weeks from now, it'll, it'll be sunny, you'll be so glad you started this journey and you'll be eager to maintain your results and tackle your next fat loss goal. We do not want you to simply sign up for a challenge and lose weight only to gain it back. If that happens, we failed you, okay? So at our Fit Body, um, we believe in results, relationships, and communities. It's on the wall out there. We're not just trying to sell you a membership here. We realize you have a lot of options when it comes to your health and fitness, and we'd like to thank you for choosing FitBody as your place to explore reaching your health and fitness goals. During your time with us, get to know us, experience our workouts, and see how awesome our community is, and you will know if we are the right fit for you. Okay, so again, thank you guys so much for being here. 
Um, if you're like the 70% of people who complete a trial with us, you're going to want to stay on with us. So here's what we're going to do. Um, you want to read that one? Or do you want? Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about that after, or probably about midweek in, or mid challenge in. Okay. Let's move on here. So um, they were in this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's normal to feel a bit overwhelmed in the beginning, guys, but focus on taking it one step at a time. It might just be getting water in your first week. Okay. It might just be coming through the door for that first workout. Okay. Take it one step at a time. Too many people let the fear of messing up stop them before they even begin. So commit to yourself today to take the first step and just begin it. It won't always be perfect. It won't always be easy, but it will be worth it. In six weeks, you will be the new you looking back at today, feeling grateful that you were brave enough to take the first step. So let's do this. If you have any questions, I will stay around until you, I have answered all of them, okay? All right. If anybody who hasn't checked in, um, I'll get a quick, uh, a quick name from you. Um, but how we start every session here, how I should have started this orientation, we do two claps. So if you're ready to take on this six week challenge, give me two claps. All right, guys, let's do this. If you have any questions, let us know. Yes, thank you so much.